This small HO scale water tank was made using a 3D printer. Sure, it's not perfect, but when it comes to adding small details to your model scenes, it does a fantastic job. 3D printing is only getting better and more affordable, and this 3D printer is a perfect example of what a cheap 3D printer can do. This printer I'm using is the ANET A8 3D printer from Gearbest. It's a kit build printer, which means it arrives flat packed in a box and it's up to you to put it together. Altogether, I spent two afternoons putting this up. Instructions came in the form of a video that can be viewed on YouTube and as long as you follow the instructions, the printer is quite easy to set up. The main purpose for this printer is primarily for printing details that I can add to my layout and scenery dioramas. It's still early days, but from what I've seen so far, I'm excited for the possibilities. My first experiment was building my own custom rainwater tank. There are plenty of free online design programs, and my favourite so far, due to its simplicity, is Tinkercad. It's free to use and is a great starting point for making your own designs online without needing to download any programs. You can see just how easy and quick it was to design a simple water tank. All up it took about 5 minutes, then once you're done, save it as an STL file in the options. Now we need to convert the water tank into a file that the 3D printer can understand. This is done using a 3D slicer. Again, there are a number of free programs online. Cura is a good one and it actually comes with the 3D printer on the USB. However, I've decided to download and use Slicer to convert and prepare my files for 3D printing. Once it's downloaded, open it up, add your water tank and scale it accordingly to suit the size and scale you want. Then click export G-code and save it to the micro USB that came with the 3D printer. You can adjust many of the settings on your 3D printer using the slicer, however I've found the default settings work good for me. Now we're almost ready to print, we just need to load the file into the 3D printer and turn it on. To ensure the printer is perfectly level and completely flat, I had a 6mm thick piece of glass cut to size. I used paper clips to hold it to the surface. This ensures that when I use this screwdriver to adjust the leveling screws, I can get an even flat surface across the entire build plate, which is probably the most important step to get right in order to have a successful print the first time. The extruder nozzle needs to be very close to the plate as you can see, approximately 0.2 millimeters, which can be measured using a piece of paper. Also, to help the first layer stick to the glass, you may need to apply a very light coat of cheap hairspray, or you can put a layer of masking tape down. Now we're ready to print. Just select the file you saved to the micro SD card, and it will load the model and start printing once the extruder nozzle and hotbed have heated up. And if everything is running properly and the build platform is nice and level, you can just sit back and watch your model come to life. Just like any other model you buy, it will most likely need a bit of a tidy up before it can be painted and finished. The model looks quite good without doing anything, but it could look a little better. I used some fine sandpaper to tidy up the model and sand away any imperfections. I found steel wool also works well at removing some of the fuzz that can be left behind after sanding. Now it's just like any other model. Glue the parts together with super glue, give it a coat of paint, some weathering, and place it on the layout. Not all objects will work on a 3D printer. I've still got a lot of experimenting to do with this 3D printer, but I've found very fine details like window frames don't print very easily. However, things like letterboxes, large fence posts, or any other details where a smooth finish is not vital, like this water tank, work perfectly on the 3D printer. Be sure to check out bouldercreekrailroad.com 
I'll be posting all of my 3D models there for download as I gradually make more, starting with this water tank for those who have a 3D printer. I'll also put a link to this 3D printer that I'm using in the description of this video and also on my website. I hope you enjoyed this basic introduction to 3D printing with a focus on model railroading. I hope to build and create more designs that work well for 3D printing and make them available for you to download. Cheers and thanks for watching.